We have breaking news coming into the WIS studio. We have just learned the Lexington County Sheriff, James Metz, has been charged by a federal grand jury in a 10-count indictment. Our Will Whitson is up on, in the newsroom working on the details of this. Will? Well, Donnie, like you said, that 10-count indictment just came down from U.S. Attorney Bill Nettles. And those indictments, they accuse Sheriff Metz of accepting bribes and using his influence to um, interfere with the identification and processing of certain illegal aliens that have been detained at the Lexington County Detention Center. Now, in a release from Attorney Nettles, it also mentions two others, including Danny Frazier and Greg Leon, who have been charged by the state and by the federal government for um, accepting uh, or for uh, a, 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 they are accused of bribing Sheriff Metz. Now, the U.S. Attorney General made this announcement saying, quote, corruption will not be tolerated. Sheriff Metz is being charged with conspiracy to violate federal law and interfering with government function. And this is a multi-state investigation. Now, we'll continue to stay on top of the details and bring you more as they unfold. For now, I'm live in the newsroom. Will Whitson, WIS News 10. All right, Will, thank you so much. I'm glad to have you with us tonight, everybody. I'm Dawn Mercer plank And I'm Ben Hoover. Continued coverage tonight of breaking news that South Carolina's longest-serving sheriff indicted by a federal grand jury on several accusations of taking bribes and using his position and influence to interfere with the identification and processing of undocumented immigrants. We have a crew of reporters out bringing you team coverage of this big story. We go live now to Will Whitson, who's gathering new information at the Lexington County Sheriff's Department. Will? Well, guys, I just spoke with some Lexington County deputies shortly after I spoke to you an hour ago. They said that they're not sure if the Lexington County Sheriff's Office will be releasing any type of statement on the federal indictments that Sheriff Metz is facing. They did say their main focus right now is preserving law enforcement in Lexington County. However, one deputy did tell me that Lewis McCarty, the man who effective immediately is serving as Lexington County Sheriff under executive order from Governor Haley, has served with the Lexington County Sheriff's Office before he left the sheriff, uh, Sheriff's Office back in 1999. Now, as we told you earlier, Sheriff Metz, along with Lee, Danny Frazier and Greg Leon, they're facing federal indictments because, uh, under the accusation that Frazier and Leon gave bribes to Sheriff Metz for the purpose of interfering with the identification and processing of certain undocumented immigrants that were detained at the Lexington County Detention Center. This announcement came out today. Um, making the announcement was U.S. Attorney Bill Nettles, State Attorney General Alan Wilson, the FBI, SLED, and Department of Homeland Security. Now, the charges that Sheriff Metz are facing include uh, the conspiracy to violate federal law and interfering with government. Conspiracy to violate federal law comes with it a maximum charge of five years in prison if convicted. Now, of course, right now, we don't know what other details there are in this investigation. We're following up on everything, and I'll continue to keep you updated with this story as developments unfold. For now, I'm live in Lexington County, Will Whitson, WIS News 10. Our team coverage continues tonight with senior reporter Jack Kinsey, who has covered just about every story involving James Metz, including a serial killer case back in 1985 that earned the sheriff some national recognition. Jack. Well, one of the things that strikes me right now is uh, what a black mark this is, again, for the, the sheriffs of South Carolina. Uh, granted, uh, you know, the uh, Sheriff Metz is innocent until proven guilty. But this is yet another situation where you have uh, a sheriff who has gotten into trouble uh, for violations of the law. If you recall, not very long ago in Saluda County, Jason Booth. I recall a case in Fairfield County with Bubba Montgomery. There is a case in Chesterfield County with Sam Parker in Williamsburg County with uh, uh, Michael Johnson there. Uh, this is not good news for sheriffs. Uh, the vast majority of them do their jobs well. Uh, but this is certainly going to shake up a lot of people who have been watching what's been happening with the sheriffs over, over the past few years because Sheriff Metz had been there for so long, uh, since 1972. Mm -hmm. Yeah, at the age of 25, in fact, being the youngest sheriff in the nation at that time ever put into office. That's correct. Uh, and again, as I said uh, an hour earlier, uh, Sheriff Metz has not been without his controversies. Uh, one uh, other one that comes to mind uh, was in 1994 when he decided for uh, reasons only known to him that he was going to challenge 
uh, the governor, David Beasley, who he'd gotten kind of angry at, and run for governor as an independent. And he, he did so with a radio ad campaign that involved a song, it was a parody of the Cindy Lauper song, uh, Girls Just Want to Have Fun, that poked fun at the relationship between the governor and his wife. Uh, and that was a strange episode in the saga of James Metz and one that, uh, that came sort of out of the blue. But uh, again, I think we'll have to wait to see how these allegations shape up, but it, it is certainly not the, the best news for law enforcement on the county level here. The governor uh, putting an, an old uh, assistant sheriff in place right now, and the only way that Sheriff Metz could be uh, put back in office is if he's found not guilty. Right, and I've got to say something about Lewis McCarty. Uh, I've known him for a long time, mm -hmm. and he is believed to be, by a lot of people in law enforcement, a very solid officer. Uh, a guy who, who spent, I believe, 26 years at the Lexington County Sheriff's Department before retiring in 1999, but a good reputation in the law enforcement community. And he is immediately put into that position. All right, senior reporter Jack Kinsey, thank you so much. In addition sure. to James Metz, there are other names that are coming up through this. Former South Co uh, Congaree Police Chief Jason Amadio also has been indicted for misconduct in office. The indictment accuses Amadio of accepting money in return for seized gaming machines while in office. This charge carries a penalty of up to 10 years in prison. Last May, Amadio was put on administrative leave after an FBI and SLED raid connected to illegal gaming machines. Amadio resigned a short time later, citing personal and family reasons. He was with the department 12 years. Also named in that indictment announced today, late today, along with Sheriff Metz and Jason Amadio, former Lexington Town Councilman Danny Frazier. Also, Greg Leon, who owns several Mexican restaurants. We knew this story would be a big deal, especially for people who live in Lexington County, where Sheriff Metz has served for decades. Tonight, we're hearing from neighbors there. PJ Rendawa continues our team coverage. She's in Lexington County with more. PJ? <laughs> shock and cynicism here in this Lexington community. A lot of people tell me they didn't expect this, but those who are in favor of Mets leadership say they need more time to think about this. They weren't quick to go on camera and, uh, you know, express their support. But of course, the cynicism and the people who felt he could have been doing more were very quick to come and tell us exactly how they felt about his leadership. He don't do really a much a lot for the community around here. I mean, uh, We've been having a lot of break-ins here at this ministry right here. We've been calling the sheriff department trying to get them to come out. And we've been having some really issues with them coming out investigating what's going on. It didn't happen ever, ever because we trusted him with our lives to serve and protect, and that's what he vowed to do for us. So. the idea of cynicism. A lot of people here say this is so common nowadays. This is the eighth South Carolina sheriff to be indicted in the past four years. We've also reached out to many uh, state lawmakers, senators, and representatives, and as so far they're staying out of there, so they're not saying much, but we will continue knocking on those doors to bring you the latest. For now, in Lexington, PJ Randawa, WIS News 10. PJ. Lewis McCarty is taking over operations at the Sheriff's Department, and our Judy Gatson continues our team coverage now here in the studio with more on that. Judy. Ben, the governor has formally suspended James Metz and has appointed Lewis McCarty as acting sheriff. McCarty is 72 years old. He served as assistant sheriff for Lexington County from 1973 until 1999. He retired after 37 years in law enforcement. McCarty will remain as acting sheriff until Metz is acquitted, convicted or until a new sheriff is elected, whichever comes first. Now, McCarty, just in the last few minutes, released a statement saying, quote, I am honored that the governor has entrusted me with this responsibility. I look forward to resuming my relationship with the fine staff and officers of this department. He goes on to say that his number one priority is to maintain the highest professional standards this department has been associated with in the past. Meanwhile, the attorney for Sheriff Metz, Sherry Lydon, provided a statement to the Associated Press saying, quote, Sheriff Metz has dedicated his life to law enforcement and serving the citizens of Lexington County. He denies these allegations and looks forward 
to his day in court. Dondi and Ben, as you can imagine, this story has blown up on social media on our Facebook page. It has already been shared more than 860 times. Also, more than 400 comments. We, of course, want to hear what our other viewers have to say as well. They can post their comments on the WIS Facebook page, on our Twitter feed, and, of course, keep it tuned right here to WIS News 10. Good evening. Thanks for watching. I'm Judy Gatson. And I'm Ben Hoover. Continued coverage tonight of the major shakeup at the Lexington County Sheriff's Department. In just a matter of hours today, a new sheriff is sworn in after 42-year law enforcement veteran James Metz is indicted on federal corruption charges. WIS has been following every development in this story tonight. Our Will Whitson is live in Lexington County with new information on this story. Will? It's been pretty quiet here at the Lexington Law Enforcement Center. Ever since the news came down, a few deputies, they had a shift change. And when I spoke with them, they said that their main duty was to maintain law enforcement here in Lexington County. In fact, some of them weren't even aware of the full extent of what these indictments against Sheriff Metz entailed. Now, at first, all started at 4.49 p.m. today when we received notice from the U.S. Attorney's Office that Sheriff Metz was being indicted on counts of accepting bribes. Now, according to U.S. Attorney Bill Nettles, allegedly Sheriff Metz, along with two other men, uh, were involved in Sheriff Metz accepting bribes and interfering with the identification of undocumented immigrants that were being brought here to the sheriff's office. Now, we also learned that there were state charges filed against him by Attorney General, General Alan Wilson. We also heard from newly appointed sheriff Lewis McCarty at a little before six o'clock saying that he will continue to maintain the professional standards of the Lexington County Sheriff's Office that have been maintained in the past. We have not heard from Sheriff Metz, nor has anyone seen him today at all, but we did hear from his attorney, Sherry Lydon, who sent us a release just at about 7.18 p.m. tonight saying that Sheriff Metz denies all the allegations and looks forward to his day in court. Now, at this point, Sheriff Metz has not been arrested. He has merely been given a summons for court. That means that he will show up to court, be arraigned, and will be set bond at a date later on. Now, we're continuing to stay on top of all the developments in this story, and we'll continue to bring them to you as they unfold tonight or leading into tomorrow. For now, I'm live in Lexington County, Will Whitson, WIS News 10. Well, thank you for that live report. We are learning more tonight about the acting sheriff, Lewis McCarty. He is 72 years old. He served as assistant sheriff for Lexington County from 1973 until 1999. He retired after 37 years in law enforcement. McCarty will remain as acting sheriff until Metz is acquitted or convicted or until a new sheriff is elected, whichever event comes first. The South Carolina Sheriff's Association released a statement tonight saying it is saddened to hear of Metz's indictment, saying, quote, Sheriff Metz has been an important part of this association since its reorganization in 1981. While we understand the severity of the situation, we would all be wise to remember that an indictment does not necessarily guarantee a guilty verdict. It is important to let the judicial process play out in this scenario to ensure the public maintains trust not only in its elected leaders but also the Lexington County Sheriff's Office. Any way you look at it, James Metz has had an extraordinary career as Lexington County Sheriff. More than four decades on the job including some remarkable achievements along with today's stunning criminal charges. Our senior reporter Jack Kinsey tonight with a look at a man who broke new ground in Midlands law enforcement. July 1999. He has always placed other problems before his own and would always dedicate himself to the best interests of the department, the personnel, and the community. An emotional Lexington County Sheriff James Metz praising the work of Chief Deputy Lewis McCarty as the veteran officer called it quits after 26 years as second in command. Now the 72-year-old McCarty is back, this time as sheriff himself, appointed to the post by Governor Nikki Haley after federal authorities slapped Metz with 10 counts of bribery and conspiracy. 
For Metz, the possible end of a 42-year career as the county's top lawman, one that began when he was just 25. His time in office saw him earn a Ph.D. in education, a slew of awards and credit for firsts, including hiring women as sworn personnel, hiring school resource officers, and creating units to stop DUI and CDV. Kidnapper has a fascination with you. If he saw you again, it might trigger a call. Metz worked to track down 80s serial killer Larry Jean Bell inspired a made-for-TV movie. But there were controversies, too. In the late 90s, Metz launched a brief independent candidacy for governor after accusing then-Governor David Beasley of lying about taking down the Confederate flag. He argued publicly with county council members over funding and had to defend himself from questions about video poker in his county. I am not a part of any illegal gambling. I don't own, I don't receive, I'm not involved, I'm not protecting anybody. As a matter of fact, quite the opposite. I'll put their asses in jail. Metz now faces jail time, up to 20 years if convicted. Jack Kinsey, WIS News 10. Several sheriffs in the Midlands have been in trouble with the law over the last three years. Just recently in Williamsburg County, Sheriff Michael Johnson was indicted. That was in February. In April, Chesterfield County Sheriff Sam Parker was convicted for his March 2013 corruption indictment. Saluda County Sheriff Jason Booth was convicted in August of 2012 on a misconduct charge. And in March of 2011, Lee County Sheriff E.J. Melvin was convicted on numerous drug conspiracy charges. James Metz has yet to comment on the indictment and charges he's facing. We stopped by his lawyer's office this evening to get a statement regarding his reaction. No one answered the door. Metz's lawyer, however, provided a statement to the Associated Press saying, Sheriff Metz has dedicated his life to law enforcement and serving the citizens of Lexington County. He denies the allegations and looks forward to his day in court. The Metz indictment has received hundreds of shares on social media. In fact, we even have some comments to share with you tonight. Jeremy Moore says, I truly hope this is not true, but if it is, he should be held to the same letter of the law as we all are. The good old boy system needs to be fixed. Karen McClam says, hate to hear that about Metz. I thought a lot of him. Judy Wilson McGee says, I am saddened to hear this. When I worked for him, he was a wonderful boss. And Sharon Porter Spivey believes, it is not our place to judge, especially when you haven't seen or heard all the evidence. The state grand jury has also indicted the former South Congaree police chief, Jason Amadio, has been charged with misconduct in office. WIS's Megan Norman went to South Congaree and talked to the mayor, who says they are working to put any past possible corruption issues behind them. Some people I spoke with here in South Congaree say they are not necessarily surprised, but they are disappointed by the charges against the former police chief and how widespread all the indictments reach across the county. South Congaree Town Council met for its regularly scheduled meeting and spent much of it behind closed doors in executive session. After, we caught up with Mayor Brian Jackson. One thing I tell you is that, that um, since I've come in, we, you know, we've come a long way with making sure and ensuring integrity and everything. Jackson came on board in September, just four months after Jason Amadio resigned as police chief. In May of last year, just weeks before he resigned, Amadio was put on administrative leave following a raid by SLED and the FBI in connection to illegal gaming machines. When he stepped down, he cited personal and family reasons. When you came in here, did you have any knowledge of any of these accusations of the, the former police chief? Uh, no, I sure didn't. I sure didn't. I wasn't told until I actually sat down on the bench, uh, somebody told me. On Tuesday, more than a year after Amadio left office, the state grand jury indicted him on misconduct in office. He's accused of accepting money in return for seized gaming machines. That charge carries a penalty of up to 10 years in prison. Mayor Jackson says he is trying to move the town forward past all of these accusations. We have a great chief here. We have a great staff here. Um, you know, we've, we've done our part in ensuring integrity. We've got some uh, more officers that we're looking on hiring on uh, this coming year, and to some departments, so we're, we're really looking at some good things. We are still working to make contact with the former police chief and his attorney. In South Congaree, Megan Norman, WIS News 10. 
Well, another former Lexington County official who has been the subject of numerous WIS investigations has also been indicted. Lexington Town Councilman Danny Frazier also facing accusations of giving something of value, anything of value is the terminology they used in the uh, indictment, uh, to influence the action of a public official. In October of 2012, WIS obtained a recording of Frazier describing his involvement in an illegal video poker operation. Frazier worked for the Lexington County Sheriff's Department as a consultant. Our 2010 investigation showed Frazier had ties to Sheriff Metz and an elected official involving campaign contributions from businesses connected to the poker ring. Metz himself requested SLED and the FBI investigate Frazier. The sheriff also denied any involvement with any illegal activity. Frazier eventually resigned as a town councilman in Lexington. We have continuing coverage of the developing story online. There, there's background on Sheriff Metz and more details on the other men charged. We also have the full indictments for you to look at. We'll continue to work this story and bring you any new developments on air, online, and on WISTV.com.